Hi everyone, my name's Summer and I'm here from Outdoors with Sum collaborating with Tony on this video today to bring you three of, in my humble opinion, the best facts about one of New Zealand's most iconic endemic birds, the tui. Over on my channel Outdoors with Sum I make videos about New Zealand's endemic wildlife and how it's evolved and so since me and Tony are both very passionate about these creatures we have in our backyards we thought we'd combine forces for today's video. Why are tui so great? Well, there's many reasons but here are my top three reasons why. Number one, poi. So you see those little jingly jingly white things, the little bow tie at the tui's throat? Those are the tui's poi and they're actually modified feathers. And the bigger the better in terms of attracting females. Female tui, they love them some big poi. So any boys with some big poi's, the female tui's are going to be all over it. Now they also want their male babies to have big poi as well. So what they do is they tend to breed with the male in their territory that has the largest poi and then they'll dupe some other poor average joe tui into actually helping them to raise the babies. In fact, one study found that 57% of tui chicks in one nest actually belonged to another male, even though these birds are supposed to be monogamous. But hey, I don't judge. Fact number two, nectar feeders. So, you know what I like about Tui? I feel like I can really relate to them because they're messy eaters, and I'm a messy eater too. But it's actually quite good in terms of um, pollinating New Zealand's flowers, because what happens is a Tui is a bit like an overgrown hummingbird. It goes into a flower, it collects the nectar, and in the process it gets all covered in pollen. So when it visits another plant, it actually pollinates that plant with the pollen it's collected from the previous flower. Some of our plants have even evolved with the tui, so that the tui's beak actually perfectly fits um, the shape of the flower, so that they can collect as much nectar and as much pollen as possible. Number three, their song and their ability to mimic speech. Now Tui have the most amazing songs. They can make up to 300 different sounds and they range from copying other native birds like bellbirds all the way up to um, microwaves wearing like a woo -woo 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 -woo. But did you know that before Europeans arrived in New Zealand, Māori would actually use them. They would teach Tui speeches in te reo and they would get them to recite those speeches to visitors that were coming to their tribe. So that's pretty amazing, isn't it? A whole speech. The reason why Tui can make so many different sounds is because they have some very special equipment in their bodies. They have a special voice box that can regulate airflow um, from different air sacs, meaning that they can actually produce two different sounds at once. And that's essentially duetting with themselves. Wow. So that's all from me today. Hopefully you guys learned something new about the Tui. What's your favourite fact about them? Let us know down in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed to Tony's channel. And if you want to come and check out mine, I'll see you over there. Thanks heaps for having me on today, Tony. I really appreciate it. Um, lovely to meet all your subscribers. And I'll see you guys then. Bye!